Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. One of my most popular videos in the Subnautica Below Zero series was how to find the Kara sample in the Subnautica Below Zero beta. Now, that's changed slightly, what with the release of the full game, so I thought I'd revisit that video and show you a new method. So we're going to be starting off from Delta Station Dock, where it's a lovely clear day. We're going to head southwest along the course line until we get to this little basking beach. And you'll see it because all the penguins will be sat on there toddling around. And that's going to be our starting point on how we're going to go and find the Kara sample. Now, this Kara sample has already been synthesized. All we need to do is really go and pick it up because Sam's done all the work. So there's our little basking beach and there's our penguins. So from there, what we're going to do now is we're going to head due west straight down as far as you can go and when i say as far as you can go it really is as far as you can go you will hit a block of ice now you'll have to make slight deviations to get past these sort of like bubbling geezer pillars these lava spouts but generally you'll get there no time at all and this will take you into the glacial basin biome now when you get to this point, this is where things can get a little bit dicey. I always tend to go on the little cave to the left hand side from this point. Now if you're in a sea truck and the sea truck hasn't had a hull upgrade module fitted to it, you are really going to be on the edge of your crush depth. In fact, you're going to exceed your crush depth to the point where you'll be incurring damage. So make sure you've got a repair tool with you. Now head on down passing these lovely and colourful jellyfish Keep on going, and it'll be quite indicative as the way that you should be going. You want to be going typically west and upwards. So keep heading in that general direction. You'll see, you know, caverns full of jellyfish. Just bounce them out the way. Or if you've got a defense grid as well fitted to your sea truck, use that. Keep on moving. The cave and cavern will twist you around this way and that, and you'll be ever more conscious of your crush depth. Don't forget, if you've got that repair tool and things are getting a little bit dicey, you can get out and repair your sea truck if before things get too precarious. So before long, you'll start heading upwards and you'll be getting underneath your crush depth now, so you won't be incurring too much damage, if any at all, providing you don't hit on anything. There'll be all these little crevasses which you have to go through, keep on heading up, Make sure your depth is decreasing and you'll know you're in the right area where you see this picture on the screen. Now, look out, there's a little plinth, little ledge, and what you want to be doing is parking your sea truck on that. Now, if you've got materials, I advise building a little base here, a little base of operations. Now this is the area that you want and this area this biome the glacial basin is fraught with peril not only from creatures like snow stalkers rampaging around and this is a little pointer we're looking for now a snow stalker skeleton go directly below that and this is the area that we want but also the weather can get cold really quick now you can see a little bit of quintessential Altera technology what you want to do now is get a hold of a spy penguin and a remote. If you haven't got one and don't know how to get one, then check out my video in the tab at the top of the screen and I'll put a link in the description as well. So as you can get through that hole, and these holes are all over Subnautica Below Zero, you're going to be using your spy penguin. So get your spy penguin out. Mine's called Peng Jack. Keeping an eye out for anything that might attack you at the same time. And this will become evident in a minute. Put your spy penguin down. And then get your remote. Now, one button packs up the spy penguin. The next button allows you to operate it. And you always make that mistake at least once in that game. Pressing the other button takes you into the spy penguin camera interface where you can drive your spy penguin around, gaining access to areas where your protagonist no longer can. So in here across the twisty bridge and you'll see an Altera case. In this Altera case is the Kara sample and that's exactly what you want. You want that antidote. Pick it up. 
it'll go into the storage area of your spy penguin. Job done. You have now got the Kara Antidote. Now there's some Magnetite around as well, some Quartz. Pick it up if you haven't already got it and then make your way back out across the bridge and back to Alex. Now, once you get a bit closer, you may lose the signal a bit. The screen might go blank. This is because you're probably being attacked by a snow stalker or something like that. They sneak up behind you, but they do just there. If that happens, run away, take them on a merry chase, go back and pick up the items from the spy penguin. At that, I mean, pick up all the things that you've picked up from it. And don't forget to pick up the spy penguin because you'll need it in a few areas as well. Don't think you'll be safe from these snow stalkers either in the water because you won't because they do like to go for a little paddle and an ice skate as well. So evasion is the name of the game. So thanks very much for watching this short video on how to get the Kara sample in Subnautica Below Zero and use the Spy Penguin and also get attacked by snow stalkers. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching this video. Check back for more videos in this series, hit that notification icon and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Take care and I'll see you soon.